Hi guys, it is Martha of Just Martha Designs, and today I'm going to talk about getting a clear stamp. Um, I actually purchased a large stamp. I wanted something that was that would take up like the whole area um, that was pretty large, so that I could practice some watercolor painting techniques that I that I was learning. Um, I, for some reason or another, I've really gotten into the whole idea of watercolor painting. So I really wanted to try my hand at um, the watercolor painting. But you can see this is one. This is my little um, practice technique. And I had a problem with the stamp. I kind of left it as is. I was going to just practice anyways. Um, but the stamp did not stamp clearly enough. And in this example, you can see there's like a certain area that was not stamping um i even took and put some fresh ink to make sure that my ink pad was nice and saturated and attempted this um thinking that maybe there was like a dry spot on my stamp pad and i was like no it shouldn't be because i just had re-inked my stamp pad so that couldn't be it so i tried again and inked it up and tried to you know place the stamp down on top of the paper in this same exact place and that's really difficult to do and that's where you really need a stamp tool to do that um, especially on watercolor paper watercolor paper has a tendency for um, it to not want to stamp completely like that so there are several things that I'm planning to do today, and I really wanted to kind of start off and show, demonstrate for you um, what, um, you know, how to solve that problem. So I'm going to start off with just my stamp on an acrylic block, and it's a, it's a fairly good size acrylic block so that most of the stamp covers that block. And I have a piece of watercolor paper. And to make sure that I have kind of a good give, I'm going to use like a silicone mat um, underneath that so that one, well, one that my paper doesn't slide around. I want it to kind of stay still and my mat to stay still. And then I'm going to take my ink. <clears throat> And sometimes the best way to ink up a large stamp like this is to just take the pad and turn it upside down. I'm actually using the archival uh, stamping pad in basic black by Stampin' Up. And this works really well, especially with watercolors. And that's kind of what I've been doing with this stamp. And so I will take and stamp up my image to make sure. And I started off with a very clean stamp. And I'll make sure that I have ink. There's like one place that I really want to make sure. Of it. There we go. All right. And so I'll just take my image. Put it down on my paper. And apply even pressure. May have to. Okay, and lift it up, and you'll notice that it still did like the same thing. So I made sure that it had ink everywhere, but I'm still getting those areas where it really needs um, a little bit more. So I would have to double stamp this, and I'm not going to double stamp it just because I'm not going to waste and have a chance of it creating a double image. <clears throat> So, I'm going to move this out of the way. And you remember my homemade stamp, um, stamp, my homemade stamp apparatus or misty tool. So, 
Um, I'm gonna use it, and I actually have put down um, a magnet board underneath there, but I'm gonna move the magnets because I don't wanna use the magnets. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna take down my paper. And I am going to, before I do this, I do wanna clean my stamp. just to make sure that it's nice and clean before I start with it. <clears throat> Peel it off the block. All right, so there's my stamp. And I'm going to make sure that the right side is up because watercolor paper, you have to have that it's kind of a rough edge that goes up. And I am just gonna use, sorry, you can hear my cat in the background. I'm just gonna use a little masking tape. Kind of hold that down. And I'll end up reusing this masking tape too when I tape it down to paint. So I'm not worried about that. All right, so we have it in there. And I'm going to position my stamp where I want it. and lift it up. And then I will ink it up. Even in those hard to reach areas. And then I'll simply put my stamp down and apply some pressure. And I still have that same little area, so I'm going to do this again. And because everything is still in the same place, it'll still, I won't have to worry about that being a doubled up um, kind of image. It'll go back down in the same place. And that's much better. We'll try one more time. And I'm gonna kind of focus my ink in those areas where I did not get, where it's kind of not clear, it's still kind of fuzzy. So this is like the third time.
And now I just have like one little place and that's okay. That'll be fine because by the time I put down my watercolor, and if I really wanted to, I'm so sorry about that. If I really wanted to, do that like one more time in that one area. And the great thing about using a stamping tool, see, now it's all, everything's fine. But the great thing about using a stamping tool is that it automatically is going back to the same place every single time. So you're not worried about the image smearing. You're not worrying about um, the places that didn't show up so well. And it comes out this way every single time. And to make sure that... <clears throat> I just in some of the areas so that it didn't get too dark uh, because you know like the stems on the second time is a little darker so I just kind of concentrated my ink when I put my ink pad on top of that um, but this stamp was like has like a lot of little details and they're they're not um, raised up as much because it's it's not supposed to be that dark um, and that's kind of the problem with this stamp but I actually created an image and I'll be able to uh, watercolor paint this hopefully here by the end of the day um, but I love it using a stamp tool helps and this was that lovely three dollar stamp tool that I actually created uh, based on some of the things that I purchased from the Dollar Tree the only thing that I did add was I do have a clear transparency sheet that's kind of what I ended up taping um, this to so the tape will come up nice and easy. It won't stick. Um, and I have a magnet sheet on the bottom so that I could use the little magnets. Um, but that's all I had to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Um, I do a lot of different things and bring you a lot of different techniques and I hope that as I improve my watercolor techniques maybe I'll be able to bring you um that as well but yeah subscribe to my channel visit my website justmarthadesigns.com I offer tutorials on there as well um as well as some different products that I may come across and including Stampin' Up! products so until next time bye